Welcome to What's Cooking in the Library. Today we are making um, sugar cookies. Uh, Valentine's next day is next week and it's always a fun time to make sugar cookies. So I thought I'd show you my favorite recipe when I got from my grandma when I was really young and it's just my favorite recipe. I'm gonna share it with you today. We're gonna start out by making sour milk. Now to do sour milk, we need three quarter cup of milk. So we're gonna add three quarter tablespoon of vinegar to this cup and then we're going to add milk to where it's until it's three quarters cup and we're going to let that sit for five minutes and it's going to make sour milk so if you happen to have sour milk, you can use it instead of making sour milk, but I don't know very many people that keep sour milk in their fridge. So, all right. So in the meantime, we're going to start by taking two cups of sugar, putting it in a bowl, one cup of butter, Now, it's better if the butter is a little soft, is like room temperature softened. I forgot to take it out, so we're gonna see how that works. <laughs> okay, cup of butter and two eggs. We're going to take a mixer and we're just going to blend that all together until it's creamy. Got that all creamy. We're gonna now add some vanilla. We're gonna add a teaspoon of vanilla. And then I really like to add a half a teaspoon of almond. I just really like the taste that that gives to the cookies. So we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of almond extract. to just blend that in. A teaspoon of baking soda. We're gonna put it into that sour milk and stir that in. teaspoons of baking powder. And then add flour. I'm gonna add start out by adding four cups of flour and then We'll add more flour as we need to. So. There's four cups of flour. And mix that all together. It should be a really stiff dough when we get to done with it. Half a cup 
cup of flour, so that'll make four and a half cups of flour. I'm gonna get all of this dough off the beater and we're just gonna mix in another half a cup of flour. So that'll be five cups of flour, but we're gonna use it a spoon to do that. going to now form this into a bowl, a ball. I'm using my hands here. I'm just going to sprinkle some more. I'm just going to make this to where it's into a really stiff ball here. this to where it's into a ball just kind of knead it just a little bit to where it's in a nice ball you don't want to add too much more flour though okay then I'm going to divide this in half I'm just going to roll this out onto a Well, it's about a quarter inch thick. In the meantime, get your oven preheating to 350 degrees. So you want it to be 350 degrees. So get that preheated. I'm gonna take a cookie cutter. It doesn't matter what, you can use uh, round if you want. Of course, this is Valentine's Day, so you gotta have a hearts. So take cookie cutters and just start cutting out shapes. want to put them in there about a quarter inch apart they do spread a little bit so leave a little bit of space in between them Okay, this is sticking really, really bad and not coming up, so I am actually going to add more flour to it just to make it a little stiffer. It should, when you cut it, it should lift right up, so make sure you have plenty of flour in there. I'm just going to knead in a little bit more flour. out again and try it again. Yeah, that 
that's lifting up a lot better. It's, it's holding its shape when I'm lifting it up. That's what you want. So if it's not, do, if it doesn't do that, just um, needing a little more flour to where it's easier to handle. oven is now preheated. Yeah, I just heard it go off. And so we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven, bake it at 350 degrees for five to seven minutes. You want it to just barely be light brown around the edges and um, that'll tell you. So we're going to start out with five minutes and see what that looks like. When you get done, you're going to have some extra dough. Set that to a side. You're going to take your other half of your dough. Let's um, need a little bit of flour in there so we get it a little stiffer the way we need. Then we're going to um, roll it out, cut it out, and then when when we get done with this second thing, we'll combine both of them into um, together and roll that out and cut it out. So the less you handle the dough, the better. for nine minutes I think they need to go just a little bit longer we're gonna put them back in for maybe another two minutes all right I'm gonna pull these out you want to let them sit for just a few minutes to kind of set up a little bit before you take them off um, and we'll put them on a cooling rack so you're going to want to use more than one cookie sheet for sure. We're going to go ahead and take these off the baking pan, put them on a rack to finish cooling. Just like that. So I took the leftover dough from the first time I rolled out and the second and just mixed them all together into one. Now we're just going to roll that out and cut them into cookies. So that's what you do with your leftover dough. Okay, while our cookies continue to bake, um, we're going to go ahead and make, I'm going to show you how to make the frosting. This is called fluffy or vanilla butter frosting. I love this frosting on sugar cookies. So. We start out with a third cup of butter that's been softened. Um, you wanna make sure your butter's softened but not melted. So there's a third cup of butter in there. I'm gonna add three cups of powdered sugar. One and a half teaspoons of vanilla, which is also a half a tablespoon. I have a half a tablespoon right here. And then two tablespoons of milk. Use the mixer and mix that up so it's nice and creamy. Okay, 
Okay, you can see it's all creamy now. If it's not, you might need to add just a little bit more milk to get it to that creamy place that it's easily to, easy to spread. In fact, I think I am gonna add just a little more milk to this just because you want it to be easily spread onto the cookies. You don't wanna tear the cookies apart. And actually clean the sides of the bowl too. Just get that. Just want it to be really creamy, really spreadable. All right, so the fun part is to be able to decorate them. I'm just gonna go ahead and spread some frosting on this. you want to put some food coloring in here you can make it any color you want just add you know if you want pink add some red add blue whatever color food coloring you want you can add to it if you want I'm just doing plain white right now and then of course you gotta sprinkle some sprinkles I'm gonna put some sprinkle some red over the top right there there you go. There's your uh, delicious sugar cookie.